The Knowledge Center of Synergy Software is extremely useful and vast. Not only can it help your end user, as you see when you sign in here, but it also help your internal support and your internal staff. Notice when you log in, instead of logging in, even for the end user, they can go through and click on the 10 most popular questions or most popular articles. And as we log in, we will go to the Knowledge Center. And you can see the same files and a lot more that can be saved in the Knowledge Center. So we will go to the Knowledge Center tab. And there's different ways you can search for Knowledge Center items. One, you can do a search just on a word. Or two, you can look for the exact document type that you're looking for. So if we look for an article and say a webinar and search, it's going to bring up this article. This is all about creating Google Apps or running Google Apps. You'll notice that you can have uh, URL links inside of it that will take you outside of Synergy. And it can also have pictures to actually show your IT staff how to install something or um, give them a better grasp on what they're doing. Also, when you create a new ticket, you'll see that when you search on a ticket inside, you can add a Knowledge Center item to that ticket. You can add as many articles, FAQs, resolutions, etc. that you want to in the Knowledge Center, and it makes it very easy to do. So we will search for our contact. And once we've done that, we can go into a ticket. And I'll show you exactly where this Knowledge Center can be added to the ticket. So here we are. You've got all this information. We're going to skip all that since we've shown that in the ticket. But we'll go to Network Password. And when I hit Tab, you'll notice it does a search for the related Knowledge Center item. I can choose any one of these. And I just right click on it and add to the ticket. This gives the user that, that's creating a ticket a little bit more information. You'll notice again you can put pictures or um, URLs inside of, the, inside of the comments that went over from the Knowledge Center. And that's how the Knowledge Center works. So again, it's very easy. Anyone that has admin rights can create Knowledge Center items, and they also must be approved. But you can also add the ticket number to the Knowledge Center item, and that's as easy as it is.